In August of 2020, Rockstar futurist Elon Musk unveiled a breakthrough in his latest endeavor to sync the human brain with artificial intelligence. During a live stream demonstration involving farm animals, particularly one special pig named Gertrude, an instantaneous simulation feedback revealed Neuralink's ambitious plan to create a working brain-to-machine interface using a coin-sized computer chip embedded in the pig's brain. This intended interface and radical innovation could allow people with neurological conditions to control phones or computers with their minds, and even be used to help cure conditions such as dementia, Parkinson's disease, memory loss, paralysis, and blindness. In today's video, we're looking into the updates of Neuralink, from its history and ongoing progress to possibilities leading to incredible life-changing solutions. Before we jump into it, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and press that notification bell for future techtastic videos. Neurotechnology The Neuralink Corporation is a neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk and several other founding members who are a group of experts in different areas such as neuroscience, biochemistry, robotics, applied mathematics, machinery among other things. With a mandate of developing implantable brain-machine interfaces and robotic innovations aimed towards inventing devices to treat serious brain diseases in the short term, with the eventual goal of human enhancement or transhumanism, which is the movement advocating for the transformation of the human condition by developing and making widely available sophisticated technologies able to greatly modify or enhance human intellect and physiology using emerging technologies that could overcome fundamental human limitations. The company started in 2016 and has hired several high-profile neuroscientists from various universities and has raised tremendous funding for its ongoing projects towards scientific development, with $100 million of which allocated by Elon Musk himself. In 2017, it was reported that the company was aiming to make a Neuralace, a digital layer above the cortex that would not necessarily imply extensive surgical insertion, but ideally an implant through a vein or artery with Musk explaining that the long-term goal of the company is to achieve symbiosis with artificial intelligence, which he himself perceives to be an existential threat to humanity if AI gets unchecked. In the same year, the company announced that some developed neuroprosthetics could already interpret brain signals and allow disabled people to control their prosthetic arms and legs, with advancements leading towards aiming to link that technology with implants that, instead of actuating movement, can interface at broadband speed with other types of external software and gadgetry. The company remained to be highly secretive about its work since announcements made during its launch, but public records show that it had sought to open an animal testing facility in San Francisco and subsequently started to carry out research at the University of California, Davis. In a live presentation through YouTube on August of 2020, Elon Musk and Neuralink revealed its dramatically simplified design for an implant creating the brain-to-machine interfaces alongside the robot that inserts it and several pigs that have the device installed. The Neuralink Implant The world watched in awe as Elon Musk shared updates of the implant, which Neuralink is developing to connect human brains with computer interfaces via artificial intelligence. In the presentation, the new design of the implant chip was unveiled, with Musk explaining that over the past year, the company had simplified the wearable device from previous designs that consisted of a bean-shaped device that would sit behind the ear. Now, the in-brain device has been simplified to about the size of a large coin, which goes in your skull. The brain-machine interfaces uses electrodes, which translates neural information into commands capable of controlling external systems, such as computers, prosthetic limbs, and even other machines using only thoughts. The concept of furthering the understanding of neurons in the brain have, in fact, been actively researched since the 1950s, with neuroscientists listening to brain cells in awake animals. At the turn of the 21st century, brain signals from monkeys were used to control an artificial arm. Even the concept of surgically implanted brain-computer interface systems is not relatively new, with teams of researchers globally experimenting with surgically implanted BCI systems in humans for over 15 years. In 2006, the BrainGate Consortium and others began implanting arrays of 100 electrodes in brains of people with neurological diseases and paralysis, enabling basic control of computer cursors and assistive devices, such as operating tablets, typing eight words per minute, and controlling prosthetic limbs using only their thoughts. With all this being thoroughly experimental, fewer than 20 people in the U.S. have actually received a BCI implant since 2003, 
which are all for a restorative, medical purposes on a research basis. Most of these, however, have been systems that involve hardware protruding from the head, providing power and data transmission. These external components create the potential risk of infection and aren't practical outside a research setting, which is why a self-contained, fully implanted brain-machine interface is truly groundbreaking. The current prototype, referred to as version 0.9, measures at 23 millimeters, or 0.9 inches, by 8 millimeters, and has 1,024 electrode threads attached to it that are implanted into the brain. This chip is designed to replace a coin-sized portion of the skull and will be physically unnoticeable. It would be installed into the skull using a surgical robot designed by U.S. design company Woke Studios, with the robot programmed to insert the neural threads safely into the brain and would be able to insert the link in under an hour without general anesthesia, with the patient able to leave the hospital on the same day. This is a development from the Neuralink sewing machine robot that was presented by the company in 2019, able to plunge a thousand ultra-fine electrodes into a rodent's brain, with these probes measuring the electrical signals emitted by neurons. Musk envisions a fully automated system to do the entire process, from incision, removing of the skull, insertion of the electrodes, placing of the device, and closing things up. The surgical robot machine itself was also designed to suit its clinical setting, being seen as comforting to patients while expressing the futuristic nature of the technology. It's comprised of three main elements, the head, the body, and the base, with the eight-foot-tall robot featuring a rounded form with soft edges, colored in white for sterility purposes, with the inner surface of the head element emitting a mint-green colored light to provide visual comfort. The robot is designed with zero room for error, with the head of the machine holding and guiding the needle that performs the operation, itself containing a large number of cameras and sensors to capture the whole brain. Once inserted and installed, the link can be charged wirelessly via an induction coil, the same way you would wirelessly charge a smartphone or similar gadgets. Musk suggested that people in the future would plug in before going to sleep to power up their implants and sees that these implants would eventually have the capability for easy installation and removal, so that people can get new ones as technology improves. This would also answer the concept of material corrosion of the chip implant within the brain. Gertrude During Neuralink's live presentation, Musk demonstrated neurons firing inside a live brain, which was highly anticipated from tweets he revealed prior to the broadcast. Minutes into the live stream, three small pigs inside fenced enclosures were revealed to having been subjects of the company's implant experiments. One pig in particular, named Gertrude, was featured using a screen above the pig that showed its electrical brain activity being registered by the implanted device. Gertrude, having the neural implant in part of its brain that controls the snout, began eating off a stool and sniffing straw, which triggered spikes on a graph tracking the animal's neural activity. Speakers also chimed out ringtones that signified Gertrude's neurons firing in real time. The implant that's being tested on the pigs has a thousand channels with exponential goals set for furthering the technology to read more completely from the brain. Groundbreaking Innovation While the technology doesn't necessarily address specific medical needs, the possibility of a symbiosis between humanity and artificial intelligence can be endless. Musk claims implants could potentially solve issues of paralysis, blindness, hearing, and depression. And while Neuralink did not disclose plans to start clinical trials, it's been said that this would be its next logical step. Aside applications ranging from restoration of full-body motion, a futuristic approach within the general population is more of the company's overall aim. This might lead to engaging in activities that would control fear hormones, hearing actual music inside one's head, seeing with super zoom vision, and breaking through the barriers of the nature of consciousness. These aspects of this technology, while it may lead to fervent hesitation for some, may also provide the push human civilization needs to survive further into the next millennium. What do you think about these Neuralink updates? We'd love to hear what you think about them by commenting below. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more techtastic videos.